Phantoms win the Southern Cup with me. I've got uh, Captain James Ferrara. James, what a great night for the Phantoms. Awesome performance, well, awesome result. Uh, four all draw on the evening, and of course, the Phantoms take the cup by a single goal, which you scored. Uh, resilient team performance tonight. Uh, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. You know, uh, from the fans to the players to everybody surrounding the team, um, massive effort tonight. Um, I think the performance was really good. Um, I think, you know, we were perhaps a bit unlucky to go down. Um, behind in the game but you know they they're a very good team a very good team and they pushed us all the way um, and obviously they took the chance as well um, but what courage you know especially the last few weeks and last few games um, you know fighting back and, and clawing games back um, and that's what we're about you know there's a lot of character in that room and and when goals go against us or games go start to go against us refereeing decisions everything else like that you know the guys are so good at just staying level-headed and, and, and fighting through to the end, no matter what happens. Um, I think if we'd have lost that game tonight, we'd have been proud of our performance. Um, but you know what? We, we deserve the win at the same time. And I think it's a huge effort and everyone's a credit to themselves and the club. I think whilst you're right, and, and whilst in the locker room and on the stands, you can be proud of performance. When you look back in the history books, what you want is you want to know that you lifted the trophy. Because yeah. you've been playing for the Phantoms for a long time. I said to Norton and Weldon earlier on, um, that they've been here for eight or nine years these nights don't come around too often and people might want to say well it's, it's the cup it, hey, you know three trophies in, in, in the time that Slava's been here yeah. hugely important to actually get over the line yeah absolutely and actually to be fair Weld said something very similar to you in the changing room um, I think it was before the game or in between one of the periods and he kind of mentioned you know how long some of the guys have been here and how many trophies have we won up until now too um, and obviously this is the third tonight for some of, a lot of the guys so um it doesn't come around very often. How many finals have we played where we've come short, penalty shootouts, some stuff like that, where we were unlucky and maybe deserved to win. So, you know, this is a reward for the club doing things the right way and the players buying into the system. And obviously Slava, you know, absolutely tremendous coach, knew, knew, knew exactly what to do tonight and uh, absolute credit to everybody involved. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely a memory for the future. A um, couple of key moments for me. Um, obviously no goals in the first period, but then they, they take it. I thought Jordan Moore made a two, two or three awesome saves at the yeah, start of the absolutely. second period, just absolutely clutch saves. Uh, but they, they get a two goal lead. Uh, I thought we didn't have, they, they were dealing with us defensively very well. I thought that we weren't penetrating and we weren't getting any pucks on goal, and Metton was stopping whatever. Paddy's goal was huge, yeah. but I've got to say to you, they came back again. Nathan Pollard's goal ended the second, and then the comeback after they score in the fourth two power play goals and of course you get the one that effectively wins the cup uh, James huge huge key moments yeah absolutely um, do you know what that I mean Paddy's goal is a huge goal to obviously give us that belief that we, we're going to go out and score um, the longer it goes without scoring the harder it becomes I think um, but what a goal that was at the end of a second period it, it, it kind of when they think they're going to go in with the lead here at the end of the period to, to, to pull out a goal like that you know it's a face-off play in neutral zone it's something that we took we've, we've tried before and sometimes we try and do to try and attack quickly out of the neutral zone face-off and it was perfect you couldn't wish for it to have gone better um, great play from Robbie you know bursting through and Whitey what what a composure and, and a pass that was for, for Polly and obviously Polly's doing the right thing going to the net like we spoke about um, so reward for that line they had, they had a great game and, and that was a crucial goal for us to give us that belief going into the third um, and obviously we went behind again in the th early in the third period but uh, you know never never say die attitude from the team um, and power play was, was was good I think it was good all night uh, we had a couple of power plays earlier in the game that I think we worked well maybe created a couple of chances um, didn't quite take out take the chance on that occasion but they, they tired the longer the game went on the more tired I think they got and the power play we just we just sucked, sucked them out of it we managed to keep our composure managed to keep the puck work hard to keep it and uh, you know a couple of great plays from the guys out there I know I talked to you after the autumn cup victory and we talk about that giving the club momentum to go into the uh, into the into the next half of the season, if yeah. you like, um, I, for, I've said to to, to, to Tom and, uh, and to Will that I thought that defeat tonight is unthinkable for the rest of the season. I think if we lose yeah. tonight and there's a chance we play them again, then then uh, then then I think it makes it a very hard end to the yeah. season for the Peterborough Phantoms. I think from where we are, we go into it with with lots of momentum, lots of optimism, yeah. and with two trophies in the cabinet. Absolutely, I agree completely. You know, we know we can do it. We know we can do it on the big occasion. We know we can do it when we really need to. Um, I, I look back a few years. I think it was MK that we played and we lost in a shootout, and that had a massive effect on the team going into the playoffs. Um, never really had time to really digest what had happened and, and 
how much we'd achieved up to that point, but obviously that loss and how we we're going to rebound from that. It just, just wasn't the time to do it. Um, and obviously MK got the momentum from that. I think ended up winning the playoffs uh, that year. So um, it, it's nice. It's much nicer this way around, having the two trophies in the cabinet. Um, and then obviously we know we can do it. We know we can do it on the big occasion and uh, all momentum for us. Um, and lots of positivity going into the playoffs this year and I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a big week for you, hasn't it? The award with the uh, Peterborough Telegraph earlier in the week. Yeah, that was what a surprise that was. Such a it was a bit of a weird evening. There was nobody else ice hockey related there at all. Um, so it was a bit of a weird, weird evening. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, individual awards are fantastic. But these are what you know really means a lot. Um, that meant a lot because it came out of nowhere really um, to have got the email the week before and, and say obviously you made up as a finalist. I was, I was thrilled. You know, it was a complete shock. And then obviously to win it on the night, I didn't really know what to say or do. Um, but. Uh, this, this means so much more to me because um, it's without the guys in that dressing room that you know maybe I'm up for awards like that in the first place and without occasions like this you know your name's not mentioned so um, I, I have to thank everybody else involved but uh, yeah tonight's massively one to remember. We've said it before and just finish on this um, the crowd of the, the, the supporters have got behind the Peterborough Phantoms this season I think they've, they've been behind the club yeah. um, thought it was awesome in here tonight just absolutely the roof came off. Absolutely um, Right from the warm-up, the reception we got in the warm-up was amazing. Um, having that massive flag out as well, you know, it was really nice. The fans getting behind it. Um, it's just, just lots of things in our favour. Lots, of, so much support, so much positivity. All the weeks leading up, everything on social media has been so positive, and it has a massive, massive effect. Um, you know, because just subconsciously, everything you read is positive. It, it just builds, 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 and, and and creates that positivity in a game. You know, when you're behind and you're really pushing for it. To hear the fans behind you like that is it, it means so much um, and you know they were with us every step of the way and this is for them just as much as it is us.